Thank you, Richard, and, and thank you, Sam, for being here. And uh, what can I say about a four-point average, except that when I graduated from university, I had a four-point average, too. It's just that it was on a scale of 10. I don't know. You know. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Board of Governors, faculty, staff, all the special guests that are here today, and of course, the folks that we're honoring today are graduates. Uh, thank you for the introduction, Richard. It's, uh, I, I want to tell you it's been just an absolutely wonderful privilege uh, to be here as the president of Mount Royal University and a, and a wonderful honor to welcome everyone to Convocation 2011. Because Convocation, without a doubt, is the best day of the year for all of us at Mount Royal. Because it's the day that we put aside all of the other mundane concerns for budgets and for programs and new degrees and fundraising and we even put aside our concerns for parking for a day uh, and today we just celebrate the people that we honor uh, in the gym here today now, now i have to admit i wish i could take a whole lot of credit for your accomplishments but i i'm, I'm not sure i really can uh, at mount royal we study very hard all of the things that you need to do in a university like mount royal so that our graduates can be so successful. And there are a lot of variables that are at play and a lot of research and not everybody agrees, but there's one thing that they all agree on, everything, anybody that's ever studied that, and that's that the success of our graduates depends upon faculty. Faculty who work with you, who mentor you, and most importantly, faculty who believe that every single one of you can be successful. So I'd like just right now, I'd like all the faculty to stand up, and, and if you'd join me in, in congratulating and thanking the faculty for the work they do. Please stand up, faculty. Well, parents, we know that this is your day to celebrate as well, and we also know it's the day that your relationship with your, your loved one changes just a bit. You've pampered, you've encouraged, you've sympathized, you've motivated. I suspect you've nagged a little bit, and I know you've even written a check or two. And for all of that, today is a moment when your loved one thanks you for all of that by moving just one step further down the road. To their own independence. And, and I know what it is as a parent to feel that, because I've been there. Uh, and I know you feel that strange combination of, of trepidation and, and loss, but that wonderful sense of pride. So thank you, parents, for the support you've given to our graduates. To friends, spouses, lovers, and others, you too share the success of your graduates. And on behalf of the university, I want to thank all of you for the support and encouragement that you provided to our graduates over the years. I think all of you realize without that support, you wouldn't be here today. So thank you very much for the support you provided. You're wonderful. Well, graduates, uh, today, however, is really your day. Uh, and quite sadly for us, it's actually the day that you leave us uh, all at Mount Royal University. Well, you leave us in the physical sense, at least, but uh, as you'll soon learn as you walk off the stage, you leave us as students and you join us as our newest alumni. And today you join uh, perhaps 60,000 students, uh, 60,000 graduates who are part of the very select club of alumni of Mount Royal. Uh, and we hope that you'll take advantage of that position as an alumnus. I hope we'll see you in the gym and the library and all of the future events because once you've done what you're going to do today, you're always part of the Mount Royal family, so welcome to that. Now I think it's something of a tradition at these events that presidents are supposed to send you off on your path with some kind of memorial, memorable advice, or you know, some tidbit of wisdom, uh, something like a do-it-yourself do it kit uh, for success, uh, some clear-cut map to, that you can follow on your life's journey. And right now I imagine that many of you are taking a look out into the real world that you're going to graduate into, uh, and you're, you're, you're looking with just a little bit of trepidation. You know, and it certainly is a very interesting time uh, for you to move out into, into the world and to leave us. It's a time of continuing economic uncertainty. It's a, maybe even a little bit of an uncertain job market. 
Political and social tensions continue to flare up in many parts of the world, and our, our physical environment is continually under stress. Now, all of it probably is going to make you want to sign up quickly for another degree so you don't have to leave, and, and that's okay if you want to do that. Um, but I suppose that, you know, I, I, I should be able to give you a little bit of tidbit of advice as you go out into this world, because I do know a little bit of what you're feeling about going into the world after the kind of experience you have. Because I graduated as a wild-eyed flower child uh, with my first degree, you should see the photos, you wouldn't believe it, in 1970, and, and, and I graduated in the midst of several regional wars, and my welcome to the work world in 1970 was the biggest recession since the 30s. Then I graduated with a PhD in 1980 into the Ethiopian famine, the Iran-Iraq war, the Bhopal disaster in Indi India, and the, and the greatest job bust of the 80s that I know many Albertans still clearly remember. And then I had the privilege of being appointed a university president in 1990, immediate, immediately after Exxon Valdez, Tiananmen Square, the Gulf War, and the early 90s provincial government deficit crisis in every province in the country. Uh, and the huge public sector cuts that come with us. And I have been a president through, in two provinces, through an NDP government, a liberal government, and a conservative government. I should add that the former two were not in Alberta. I think you realize that. Now, I'm not telling any of you this to get sympathy, right? I've clearly done pretty well in the last 41 years. But perhaps that's the first observation I want to leave all of you with today. As each of you graduate, into the middle of today's multitude of social, political, and economic challenges, I'd like to comfort you just a bit by assuring you that you will succeed and you will thrive. And I believe even more than that, with your Mount Royal experience, you are now equipped with the tools to be an integral part of the ever continuous and perhaps ever moving process to fix all those things that will make our world a better place for all. So what are those tools? Well, we certainly believe that you're prepared. You have the tools to enter into the workplace environment and in, into the vocational area of your choice. You know, I can't offer much additional presidential wisdom here except a suggestion for you not to be too concerned if your first job isn't your ideal. My first job after getting my chemistry degree was shoveling asphalt. Uh, and my second one was slinging beer. Uh, so it took a while before I got around to saving the world, you know, and I think it could be the same for you guys. So in the words of that great philosopher Yogi Berra, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. The job market here might be a little tougher for all of you over the next decade, but take it as an opportunity to be freed from the terribly burdensome and pressure-laden expectation to immediately be in that perfect career location. So my presidential advice is just take any fork that you come to it, it will be the right one for sure. Well, the second tool we hope that you leave us with is a little more complicated and, and I think even a little more important. You know, today our society and our world is certainly characterized by diversity and there's diversity in environmental and political ideologies, there's diversity in cultural practices, diversity in religious and belief systems. And as we see throughout the world today, Sometimes those diversity, those differences, sometimes lead to conflict, strife, and sometimes to social or environmental disaster. You know, and I have to admit that I and many others of my generation went out to face this type of world armed with not much more than a sense of optimism and the belief in the power of love and goodwill. I was a 60s child. And looking at the world that we've left for all of you, I'm not sure that I'm the one to look for, for that little tidbit of wisdom on how to do that. But I think it's different for you. At Mount Royal, you have had the opportunity to explore, the opportunity to debate, and even experience firsthand all of those differences and all of those issues. And from this Mount Royal experience, we hope has come the new knowledge and the new understanding and the recognition that contradiction, ambiguity, diversity, those are just features of your everyday life and they are not going to go away. And I think along with this, for all of you, has come the appreciation that we can all live in this wonderful cultural and ideological diverse world. We can live in it with mutual understanding, mutual dignity, and respect. That is the Mount Royal education. Well, I think, as some of you might know, uh, this is actually my last convocation 
as well. And so, in a way, we're graduating together, folks. We're, we're, gonna, we're heading out into that unknown world uh, in, in, the, in the next step in our lives. And so I, I'm going to leave you with this something, uh, something that, that I carry, because I don't think I've, I've really lost that optimism, that sense of love and hope that I had in 1970 when I graduated. So how many of you know Johnny Reed? you know Johnny Reed, the singer, the Canadian singer? Great Canadian singer and songwriter. So I'm, I'm just going to quote, and this is a quote, I think, for both of us as we head out now into that new world. And it's just simple two lines. Today, I'm going to try and change the world, and I'm going to take it one day at a time. Thank you to all of you for letting me be part of your lives during your university life, and thanks for the better world that all of you are going to create. Thank you so much.